It's described as an acute ringing in the ears, followed by a piercing pain, which leads to vertigo, nausea, and lasting cognitive problems. But who or what is behind the condition known as Havana syndrome? A five-year-long investigation by CBS's 60 Minutes, Russian exile magazine The Insider, and Germany's Der Spiegel may have found an answer. Investigators traced the source of the attacks to a covert Russian intelligence unit in Tbilisi, Georgia, known as Unit 29155. The group is made up of assassins and saboteurs who use counter-surveillance, poison, explosives, and other advanced technology. Journalist Christo Grosev, who identified those behind the 2020 poisoning of the late Alexei Navalny, says he found an email linking the Russian intelligence unit to a request from the Russian government for, quote, potential capabilities of non-lethal acoustic weapons. Furthermore, Grosev claims email login data places the son of a unit commander in Tbilisi at the time of suspected attacks. Experts say the potential weapon is untraceable and uses microwave technology to emit a frequency capable of damaging soft tissue in the brain. Victims include CIA, FBI, and White House officials, their spouses, and children. One official reported hearing the device above his child's crib and has since experienced persistent symptoms like sensitivity to light. In total, there are about 1,000 reports of Havana syndrome cases, but the U.S. State Department contends there is no concrete evidence implicating Russia, and the CIA has said the syndrome was unlikely the efforts of a foreign adversary. However, an American military investigator who handled classified documents as part of the DOD's investigation told 60 Minutes the incidents had some striking similarities. And consistently, there was a Russia nexus. There was some angle where they had worked against Russia, focused on Russia, and done extremely well. Ed Green says Russia's motivation may be to disrupt U.S. diplomatic relations. For instance, U.S. officials say they were targeted in Vietnam ahead of Vice President Kamala Harris's visit in 2021. Russia has a friendly relationship with the Vietnamese and reportedly gave them technology capable of acoustic attacks. There were 11 victims total, some of whom were medevaced out of the country. The vice president was unharmed. The U.S. State Department says the investigation into Havana syndrome is ongoing.